So you may be thinking that I am completely biased when I say that every single person would benefit from therapy. And you'd be right. I am biased. And that's part of why I want to talk about why. <laughs> that's part of the reason why people actually need therapy is because we all carry our own set of biases. I would like to think that even for myself and knowing all the things I do from all of the years of training and working with people, that I wouldn't deceive myself or lie to myself. But the truth of the matter is that we all deceive and lie to ourselves in different ways and for different reasons, depending on what is really painful for us to process and accept and see in ourselves. And the tricky part is, for the most of us, we don't even see it. It's not like we're like, hey, I'm going to intentionally be deceptive or lie to myself about this thing because I know this truth about myself. But the fact of the matter is, we all have things that we subconsciously are avoiding about ourselves that keep us from living life in a way that is really, um, is really helpful for us and really moves us in a direction where we're going to avoid pain in the future. It's kind of like that person you see that continuously goes in and out of a relationship, but it seems like she's dating the same guy. He just has different hair and maybe different like glasses and he looks a little different, maybe a kind of different situation, but the way that he treats that person is exactly the same. And the truth of the matter is they're still kind of looking for the same exact person, even if they're going from relationship to relationship if they're not willing to take the time and sit down and think about what it is that keeps them seeking that person. So anyway, I'm here to say that we are all what um, I would call honest liars, which I actually, the this concept came from a TED talk that I will link to. And it's just such a powerful concept that we all, we all intend to be honest, but unfortunately because of our humanity and because of what we call cognitive distortions in the psychology world, which is essentially a jargon for how we can kind of see things in extremes and distort it. Um, we don't see things completely honestly. We don't see reality as it really is. And so having a third person who's built in directly to work with you and to benefit you, because no other relationship in your life are you going to get a person who's there for you specifically and not for themselves, um, to kind of observe you and not be fully invested in your life in a way that may blind them. Now, again, every therapist is going to have their own set of blinders and biases, but it gives them a better opportunity as a third person to see the things that maybe you aren't seeing for yourself. And so when you do go to choose a therapist, I'll probably do a video about that at some point. Try to find somebody who speaks in a way where you can absorb the truth. Because the other piece of this is, even when we're faced with the truth, sometimes because of the way that it's delivered, we don't always absorb it. And that doesn't get us really anywhere either. So all I'm here to say is that, you know, working with a therapist or perhaps even a coach, having somebody else kind of give you an outside perspective on you and to see you in a way that you cannot see yourself because of your humanness is so beneficial in so many ways and is the path to self-growth and self-optimization of your emotional life and not continuing to bring yourself into ways of pain, whether they're extreme or not. And so I encourage all people to try out coaching or therapy at some point in their life and I fully believe that it is for everyone and realize that I am completely biased in that.